In this video, I'm going to introduce to you WCells.MBX, the state-of-the-art software tool that is in our view and in the view of the people using it, the best and most comprehensive RF visualization and optimization tool available today. WCells.MBX is the result of the ongoing development spanning more than 10 years, from the time when GSM was the dominant technology up until the present date with UMTS. 10 years is a long time, but Rome wasn't built in a day either. People using W cells broadly belong to one or more of the three following groups. First, the cell planning RF engineers dealing with the geographical distribution of mobile telephony sites, neighbor relations planning and PSC planning when it comes to UMTS or BSIC, BCCH planning in GSM case, or interested in displaying RF and other parameters and neighbor relations in MapInfo. The second group are RF optimization engineers, dealing with analysis, troubleshooting and presentation of the statistical indicators and the drive test results against the network settings. The third group consists of all other personnel involved in geographical presentation of the sites and the related data in any mobile telephony network. Why do they use it? The main reason they use W cells is because it dramatically speeds up the decision-making process related to a whole range of daily activities in the mobile telephony engineering. How? By visualizing the data and showing the cell info, by doing the highlight of the neighbors, highlighting cells with chosen value of key parameters like PSC codes, showing statistics, displaying propagation delay, including customizing the statistical ranges, editing selected cells, and a lot more. But before I tell you about some of the standard and the advanced features of the program, I'd like to point out that not all mobile networks are created equal and many of them are not fully optimized. So I'm going to tell you the story of two mobile networks and I'll call them originally the network A and the network B. Now, in one presentation, I was asked whether A stands for amateurs and B for bosses, but no, that's not the case. Both networks are quite good, and the main difference between them is in the tools that they use to optimize the network. In the network A, they rely on in-house utilities that are okay, but only solve one part of the equation, so they often analyze the cell data spreadsheets directly. When you have rows and columns of numbers in front of you, it is easy to make a mistake. At best, RF optimization is done through a time-consuming, tedious and error-prone process. As a result, their network is not fully optimized. If the network is not properly optimized, then it performs poorly and the first symptoms are starting to appear. Their customers typically experience higher than normal percentage of their calls dropped, the inability to access the network and low throughput. The consequences for the mobile company are dire, as it experiences the growing dissatisfaction of its customers who start to migrate to other, more reliable networks. Ultimately, the company faces an uncertain future and potentially ruined reputation. Now, when it comes to network B, they face much of the same technical challenges, but in a sharp contrast, they rely on advanced RF visualization to speed up their decision-making process. Their RF optimization gives better results and their network operates at full speed. It's performing optimally, it cuts on the drop calls, it has high throughput and no connection problems. Consequently, the company has happy customers who spread the word of mouth, boosting the reputation of the company and resulting in a better business with more customers and higher profits. The benefits do not stop there. When you are the person doing the RF optimization, you play an essential role in the success of the company. The fact that you are able to give results faster, better and with greater precision than others is appreciated and directly reflected in your reputation, giving you a better income and position. In a nutshell, the visualization is the key component or RF optimization and the tool that makes that possible is WCells.MBX. It is built not by programmers, but by engineers with strong programming skills who understand perfectly the problems that you are facing as the RF optimization expert and are there to help you with the solutions that truly work. 
Quite simply, WSS.MBX speeds up your decision making and helps you to eliminate errors and to perform the proper RF optimization. It is portable and independent of the information source, flexible with easy updating and customization to your individual needs, and compatible with all modern technologies, including UMTS, GSM, CDMA, and LTE. When it comes to the features of WCells.MBX, the building block is the graphic presentation of a cell, which consists of a map info region in the shape of a circle, an omnicell, or a part of the circle, a sector cell, whose center is located at the pair of the coordinates. The orientation reflects the chosen azimuth. Width of a sector can correspond to horizontal antenna beam width, and the size of a sector would be according to the chosen antenna size on the map. The standard set of features include generation of cells mapping for objects from text file information, cell coloring according to operational state, cell information after selection, cell search, highlight of neighbors, highlight of cells with given value, changing of the cell size, changing of the cell width, creating, changing and deleting individual cells, importing and updating of basic UMTS network parameters, deleting of all cells, manipulation of auxiliary layers, visualization of distant circles, and your favorite cells. WCells also includes a set of advanced features giving you more control and even greater fine-tuning of the network. The advanced features include the addition and removal of neighbors, comparison of neighbor changes against updated network information, visualization of statistics, filtering and sorting of the worst offenders, visualization of parameters, parameter changes, statistics browser, parameter browser, propagation delay, cell relation statistics, listing of cells found in a map window, listing of RNCs found in the map window, exporting the list of cells per region, exporting the count of cell neighbors per range and region, and presentation and visualization of drive test results. In short, by using WCells.MBX, you cut through the data to the meaning. You visualize the mobile telephony cells on a map. You have the accompanying information, parameters, statistics, and measurements at your fingertips. You avoid the costly time-consuming errors, and you optimize the mobile network faster and better than any of the other engineers.